So welcome, this is a product review on the camping cot that I took away with me on the last trip and I've had a few comments on it, people asking about it so I thought I'd do a quick review on it and show you the footage from the actual camp as well so we'll get into it, first off that's it, comes in a nice little neat bag and weight wise we are looking at 1.46 kilos there so nice and light, folds up small and length just on 400 millimeters and the diameter about 120 millimeters it's a great setup I've taken it away a few times and it gets you up off the ground even if you're using a camping mattress one of the advantages is you can actually stuff all your gear in underneath it um, your bags and whatever and that'll help insulate as well so I bought it off eBay and it was roughly 120 odd dollars but well worth it I've checked eBay recently and they're still available and there's some other varieties out there as well that you could have a look at so all the poles are aluminium and it's quite a unique system of putting it all together so we'll get the mat out and you'll see that the poles all just click together and feed through the beauty of this is if you're putting it together inside the tent you don't have to have all the poles stretched out at the same time you can do it in your tent, I've actually done it in the tent just to try it out but once you run the two sides down And that's the base ready to go. So the, the colour coded, there's one colour of each, these ones are black and gold, but they could be coming in any colours. They do bend slightly and a couple of times I've had to just do a bit of a straighten out, but generally they work pretty good. You click one of each colour together. Look at easy as a couple of spares. Right, these are the feet. The cut out here, in like that. So, and you'll alternate the colours. As you can see, that's just going through the top hole. So that's the first leg made up. And if you make them all up together, and again, alternate the colours. And we're doing this in real time, so you'll actually get an idea how long it takes to set up it was a good camp I went on, I actually thoroughly enjoyed that, it was out at uh, Cobbler's Pool on the Avon River and lots of trains going past so it was a little bit of noise but not too bad, I didn't mind it so hope you get to watch that video as I say there's quite a variety of these available on eBay um, and you can choose your own style but to get up off the ground have a little bit more insulation underneath here and with a camping mattress a uh, blow up mattress just made all the difference in the world of sleeping I wouldn't recommend it if you're too big a heavier person uh, look at the weight restrictions on it because as I say you will get a couple of these do bend and but you can straighten them out so to put them together you start at one end hook the, the little hook in that's the hook there into the bar just giving holding the bars apart Oop. holding the bars apart hook it in give it a bend and that's the first one set You'll find at each end there is an extra one, I just missed those out, I don't need them but apparently you can buy extra feet if you want to on the internet although I have had trouble trying to even find them So you can see black, gold, gold, black and we go all the way down
even if you're just taking it out and camping and laying down outside during the day good for that as well let's get this one and that's that so super light bit of stretch once I get on it I actually make sure I just even my weight out so I'm 1.64 meters and that's fine got a bit of bounce to it as you can see not super wide I'll give you some measurements there So overall that is 600 and 1800 I mean it's light as a feather, it really is If you're going camping with kids or something like that and you're worried about them uh, not being comfortable first time campers this would probably be absolutely ideal. So I've got the spare poles. They do recommend some if you're heavy to put the two poles in. But what I've heard from others is that it's not necessary. It'll just cause the bed to bowl to uh, to bow slightly. So putting it back, pulling it apart is exactly the re reverse. We'll start at one end. And just pull and lift and I'll unclip. Now, so you're using your knees to keep it apart. Pull. And it's all apart, take your poles out and you're done. These are fairly sturdy, I haven't had them bend or anything on me. Now when you're putting it together, the beauty of these legs is they've got a ridge on one side and they'll all lock together. So as you can see they all just lock together nicely uh, Prove me wrong Put legs in there That slips in the smaller side of the holes And then all you got to do is put all your poles back in I use it on the motorbike when I'm motorbike camping I haven't taken it away hiking yet but uh, I'm actually thinking of doing that and see how much difference the weight makes. Now as a follow up to this video, what I'm going to do is another one and it will show you the sleeping system that I use on top. I've made a couple of alterations to my system that I find really useful, a lot more comfortable and it stops everything slip sliding away and I feel more like I'm sleeping in a bed rather than on the hard cold ground. So stick around for that one. Cheers.